As a player, some of the most important parts is, is really maximizing your training hours and being able to uh, balance school, find that time for training, and you're getting more ice touches than anybody else in your age group and you're able to develop and work through the process uh, becoming an elite athlete. So people who are really dedicated to moving to the next level um, and trying to look for college and junior and pro, uh, this is an amazing place to develop, learn all those key skills and get those extra ice touches that other kids uh, won't get. So uh, I've been doing MHA for two years here. Um, it's really given me the opportunity to excel as a player on my skill uh, while practice is just, um, there's a lot of team stuff and four checks and stuff like that, but MHA, you can, uh, there's less people, you can just work on your skills, stick handling, uh, all the stuff that you want to while in practice. You don't really have the time for that, you have to do what the team does. Our entire focus is trying to provide life skills for student athletes, not just hockey training and not just education, but a mix that, that ends up creating life skills that translate through high school, college, and on into you know lifelong career path. So I do the uh, Village Online Academy here at the MHA. I really like it because a lot of flexibility. I can come in when I want to, get my work done. Also, there's a lot of great support at the Village. You know, you can go in, get some help from your teachers. I personally like to go in and get some math help. This helps me out. Monument Hockey Academy has really helped me in all aspects of my game because uh, all, there's so many different coaches here that really help you at an individual level and um, they all have different things they work on and they help me work in all aspects of my game and become a really complete player. They'll help me move on to the next level. What I like about Monument Hockey Academy is the specialized practices we're able to do with all different types of coaches. Uh, we don't just have one or two coaches every day. We have a variety of six to seven uh, different coaches every week. The speed of the skating, the speed of the puck skills, and the forethought um, that it takes, the anticipation, the pattern recognition, these are things that we can really isolate um, that you really can't do in a team practice. So the complement of what we can do as uh, you know, skill instructors, where we connect the dots and tie that all together, that plus the team practice, and the on-site training facility off-ice is really the ideal situation for optimum skill and player development.